Well, welcome to today's feed forum, which will focus on fine-tuning dietary cation anion difference, or abbreviated DCAD. At a recent webinar, we looked at four other mineral components or anion cations that can, in fact, impact that equation. That would include magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, and ammonium. Magnesium is critical because if it is too low, there is a less of response to the parathyroid hormone. And that is the hormone that regulates blood calcium in dairy cattle. And of course, it is absorbed through the rumen wall and not stored by the cow. So that number should be around 0.4% magnesium in the close-up dairy cow ration. Calcium is another factor that can impact the DCAD because if it's fed as calcium carbonate, the carbonate radical impacts the rumen pH and, of course, can impact the calculation. So consider that if you're adding that as a major source of calcium. Phosphorus has a role because if it's too high, it inhibits vitamin D conversion by the kidney to the active forms. The active forms of vitamin D impact bone mobilization and the absorption of calcium from the gut. So the level in that close-up dry cow ration should be around 0.26% phosphorus in the diet. Ammonium happens in the rumen, which can tie up magnesium. So indirectly can impact, obviously, the response of the cow for blood calcium. And of course, excessive ammonia has to be converted over to blood urea nitrogen by the liver of the cow. So the take home messages include that other ions besides the major four can have some impact in response in the field. Thanks, have a great day.